Skip has done it. Down a hole. Oh! Beautiful chapter it is for the Bombers. Now when I first come down and you know the club that I was with and started off with, that I was zoned to in South Melbourne, who are now the Sydney Swans, were, were pretty good. We all started at South, Terry, Neil, myself and Chris, because it was zoned. The Riverina was a South Melbourne zone and lots of great people, or lots of great players come from, from that neck of the woods. I had two years at South Melbourne and you know they looked after us, found us work around the club until we were able to find a job that suited and and uh, that, that, that made it easy. I remember my, I followed Terry, my brother, who was at Essendon at the time. We drove down the Tullamarine Freeway. He turned right to go to Weston and he said, you go straight ahead down that road and that'll take you to Moorabbin. And, uh, and I came across my first tram, which I didn't know you had to stop for. And uh, I nearly wiped out 15 people getting off a tram on Flemington Road. They were probably obviously looking for, uh, to recruit a couple of more experienced players into their competition and, and, and to do that, I suppose they had to free their list up a little bit. There's about two or three guys, I think, that they sort of put up as trading bait. I'd virtually signed with Fitzroy. They come to me with a contract. I had it there, had it in my hand. I said, I'll take this home, Frank. Frank Bibby was the president. I said, this is a club for me. And, and at the very last minute, the next day, when I was about to take that, I'd already signed the contract uh, to take it back to Fitzroy. I got a call out of the blue from the Essendon Football Club and um, talked me into coming out and having a training run. And um, in the end, I had a bit more of a think about it and said well this is a club for me and uh, Neil and myself come along here and in 1978 and uh, joined the Bombers. I settled in well, I, um, there was a time there I lived with uh, Peter and Lorraine Bateman, they were a great Bomber family, they were fantastic, uh, made life easy. Barry Davis gave me my first game, always uh, give Barry credit for giving me an opportunity and, uh, and you know, I cut my teeth there in the early days, early, late 70s, early 80s, and um, Kevin Sheedy come along and um, everyone knows the story. And, um, we built a great team. Chris and I remained in the, in the Swan Zone and came to South Melbourne. And I came to South Melbourne, then moved to Sydney. Um, then in 87, when I was sacked from the Swans, um, part of that deal was that Chris came from the Swans to Essendon as well. So the four brothers all turned up via Kevin Sheedy, who mum tapped on the shoulder and said, I'd like my four boys all to play together one day. And so the four of us all ended up at Essendon in 87. I retired at the end of 85 and it was all over. Uh, basically from there, uh, I was uh, came back as a coach in early 87, Kevin thought, you know, give it one more go, and I was happy to give it a go, but I was never, ever able to have the athleticism to really be a good player. Mum did a marvellous job, and you know, she always worked on Kev to try and get, uh, get the boys all together, and it, it worked out that we were able to get Anthony, and then later on Chris wasn't uh, picked up by anyone, and Essendon saw the opportunity to, to give him a try, and you know, for us all to get there in, 19, in 1990 down at Moorabbin there against St Kilda, it was a pretty special day. You know, uh, and, and I'm sure Mum and Dad would have been happy that we're all playing under the under the one roof. That was really special, like uh, for us. And this is what people don't realise today is that uh, back then, uh, when we started at, at Essendon, it was just like a local football club. They'd had pleasant Sunday mornings, raised money. They had. Uh, um, just local people in there, it was just like a local football club and uh, you know back in uh, 1990 um, it was great to be able to share that with the people that uh, had been around the place to support us, to support staff and uh, just the Essendon Football Club, you know, it was really special. It's been time with my brothers at the football club, now looking back now, special time. As the ball goes down there but a mark for Danaher. Into this quarter by just on 35 minutes, there's the siren. Essendon winning their first flag since 1965. Looking back and, and uh, yeah, going through those hard yards, you know, we'd win some, we'd lose a couple, we weren't, weren't consistent enough. Kevin gave us that hard edge and all of a sudden the winds were coming a bit more prominent. And then uh, we kept working and working, we grew, as, grew in confidence as a, as a team, you know, with Simon Madden, Timmy Watson, you know, Glenn Hawker, Roger Merritt, all these fellas started growing in confidence. 
we had a good combination of a few city blokes and a few country guys and it was a, a good, we combined well and uh, it was just so, so pleasing to get, you know, to get the result on the board in the end and, uh, you know, win, win back to back 84 and, you know, it was a particularly very pleasing one to win after 83's debacle and then and to advance back in 85 was, was good reward for that, for all the work that we put in. It was uh, tremendous. As for the Premiers for 1985, winning two in a row. I would have loved to have been out there, but uh, I wasn't dealt that hand, and uh, but that's OK. Three new reconstructions is just massive, but uh, just resilient. Um, and he came back, he played. It sort of, uh, I guess, all of those challenges help shape what you're going to be in future years. And um, gosh, if there was a crystal ball, if he had played 200 games, who, who knows what Eston would have done? Because he was just, a, as Kevin Sheedy said, he was way ahead of his time. And we didn't get to see that. And footy can be cruel on, on people. It's, it's a tough caper. But in 80, 93, I was, uh, the knee was playing up and young Fletch got the gig at fullback, which was just fantastic. Uh, but Chris got a gig, and I was wrapped for Chris. Take, look at this. take me on, take me on, take me on, he says, and still gets away with it, and pumps it to within 50 metres. Here, well inside, and away goes Chris Danaher. Have a look there. Brilliant football, Danaher. I was lucky enough to play in the, the 90 grand final, which we lost to Collingwood, and uh, to have that experience again, I'd like to run out in the MCG uh, on grand final day. There's no, no bigger one in the AFL, and... Uh, so to get the opportunity again, and then to actually win it, um, yeah, was another big, uh, big dream come true. And uh, and that, that feeling of uh, of that final siring, and, and actually it dawns on you that you've just won a, a an AFL premiership. It was uh, it was a super feeling. Number seven, Chris Danaher.